Hey guys, and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. I'm Crossing Channel, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the latest news and updates for Animal Crossing New Horizons, so let's get straight into this. This image is coming straight out of Germany, and it confirms that Animal Crossing New Horizons will have a size of 6.2 GB, so that is something for you guys to consider. This image also confirmed that your save data will not be transferable to another Switch, which upset a lot of fans understandably, and I'm going to talk more about that at the end of the video. But first, this image that we just saw also came with this new image, which is a really cute new piece of artwork for Animal Crossing New Horizons. It shows the player running down this dock to the plane, and their friend is obviously waiting for them, so really cute new piece of artwork here to enjoy. Definitely fits Animal Crossing New Horizons very, very well. Here's a new screenshot that came from the Japanese eShop and it basically shows all of the characters looking up at the stars. On the right we have Bud, on the left we have Mary, and in the center we have a human character and also Bunny. So it's a really great night scene. I think the night vibes of Animal Crossing New Horizons are really, really great and this is a really cute little screenshot. So definitely good to see new screenshots. This came from the Japanese eShop listing as I said because in Japan that has now been listed since you can actually pre-order the games on the 8th of February if you live in Japan. But we're hoping that this will also come to other regions on the 8th of February as well so we can finally get to pre-order the games via the eShop. That would definitely be really great if that can happen finally. Here's a new promotional display coming out of Taiwan and it has a really cute new piece of artwork with it that I'm going to show off here. This piece of artwork that you see was actually edited by Sweetie Loves just to crop it and improve the colours so we could see it a bit better. And of course it features Jay on the front drinking a really nice tropical drink, maybe a vacation juice, the famous vacation juice that we had in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, who knows. We also have a character on the front wearing his very beautiful Gucci shades. Are they Gucci shades? I don't know, probably not, but hey they kind of look like them. And we also have a new character in the back catching a butterfly. We have Ooh, hair and Bud. Bud again. Bud's getting a lot of love. And yeah, they're just doing some cool poses. We also have, I believe that's Francine and Chrissy in the back as well. So yeah, really cool new piece of artwork for the game. Obviously goes alongside the other one we saw coming out of Taiwan a few days ago. So it's nice to see these new two pieces of artwork. Very, very cool and great to see. Now finally, in terms of saves and such, there might actually be some good news. Now, I'm not 100% on this, but I wanted to show it off anyway. This is a translation coming from an article Nintendo themselves posted. So this is an official statement, but it's worth noting that sometimes translations can't be 100% accurate, so I want you to take this with a grain of salt. It says, this game does not support Nintendo Switch Online Cloud saves, as we knew previously, but we are currently looking into a customized method for backing save data up that will be specific to this game in the event that your Nintendo Switch is damaged or lost. This function will be limited to, to Nintendo Switch Online subscribers. The timing of implementation is undecided and will be announced as soon as it is finalized. So this sounds like they have listened to fans and they are looking for a way for you to back up your save data, which is much needed and definitely something they have to do because Obviously, you don't want to lose all of your progress in New Horizons if something bad happens to your Switch, or you want to upgrade. I mean, I'm sure Nintendo would want you to upgrade to a new system, right? So, they need to find a way for us to back this up, and it sounds like they're thinking about doing that. Well, it sounds like here they're confirming they're going to do that, so that's very good. We just don't know what that entails or when it's going to happen, but I thought it'd be worth talking about anyways. If you guys want a great place to discuss Animal Crossing with other fans, check out the Crossing Community Discord server, the link is in the video description. If you want to help support the channel, click the join button down below or the link in the video description to become a member of the Bob's Gang. You can get a bunch of really cool perks for doing so. Well, that's all the time I've got. I've got to get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf for my Nintendo 3DS. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and of course, subscribe for even more Animal Crossing content.